Many of the farm-based AD plants that have been built in Scotland uh, to date have been based on a crop feedstock, or at least a high proportion of crop feedstocks. Incentive schemes and the general incentive from government now is to, to use more waste. In fact, the RHI and, and the feed-in tariff recent amendments require uh, at least 50% of the, the gas to be produced from waste feedstock before you can get the entire tariff. Okay, this is uh, Eric and Roy Marshall's AD plant at Camiston near St Boswell's. Uh, this is a 500 kilowatt plant. It has two CHP units. Uh, the feedstock here is quite a large proportion of, of energy crop, mainly rye silage, some grass silage, and some waste, some farmyard manure and some slurry. Like many of the schemes that have been built uh, to date on farms in Scotland, this one relies on quite a high proportion of energy crop. Under the changes to the RHI and the feeding tariff regulations, there's a restriction on the amount of energy crops that can be used. At least 50% of the gas must be produced from wastes. So this model here won't be replicated going forward. We'll need to look at schemes that use much more waste and, and less energy crops. So we're now going to look at another plant which is a, a 200 kilowatt output but relies much more on agricultural waste. So we're here at uh, Carter Hawk Farm uh, in Bowhill Estate, part of Buclew Estates, where we've got a good example of, of an AD plant that runs predominantly on farm waste feedstocks. The bulk of the feedstock is actually cattle manure and chicken manure. It's topped up with a small amount of, of crop, of silage feedstock. Your feedstock, Sean, you've got quite a high proportion of, of animal wastes and stuff. Can you, can you just tell us what the feedstock mix is? Well, the, uh, the plant was designed in that way to take all the manures we've got on farm, really. So we're lifting uh, about a thousand tonne of hen pen annually off the off the farm. And then uh, all the cattle manure goes into it. So there's another five and a half thousand tonnes of FYM, oblique slurry, goes into into mm -hmm. the plant as well. And the plant was scaled purely for muck, but we, we built it slightly bigger. So we are putting some silage into it at the moment just to okay. top it up. Yeah. And what kind of amount of silage roughly annually? Would you... About a tonne a day, roughly. The requirements now for the feed-in tariff in the RHI, where you have to produce 50% or more of your gas from waste feedstock. Yeah, so you, your plant would still stand up yep. if you were going into the scheme today. Yes, I. And the digestate, once it's finished, you're, you're putting it through a press and then and then using drying it in your drying floor, using yeah. the heat from the AD to dry it. Yeah, so it comes out as slurry. Um, so we're separating the whole lot really pretty well coming out of it. We will, we will take some and separate stuff because the problem is in the springtime when I need the most of the stuff I can't separate it quick okay. enough. Um, so at the moment we're, we're taking some unseparated stuff and putting it through as well but the bulk of the stuff separated and then the, the dried, the, the solids is either spread on fields but most, most of it's either dried down but we're drying it down and we're using it as bedding but not at the moment because it's, oh, it's all used as fertiliser. But we're drying it down so we can get the weight onto the trailers to get them away to further farms away from here. spread it further from home yes. and all of the liquid stuff goes in the, the land about, uh, close to the digester yeah, here. Yeah, but it all depends where it's needed because if we need the liquid for for example winter barley we would shift it further away as well so it just depends on, right, on okay. the crop. Aye. Yeah. more than anything. Well, all the cereals now are grown without any fertilizers. So the digestate, when you put it on, how do you find that as a fertilizer? Do you find it? Re really good. Um, most of our crops now are grown. I've reduced our nitrogen usage from about 280 tonne a year down to about 54. Okay. So, and I think we'll get there less yet. So. Is that better than just using the, the raw material? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Well, what we're finding is it's more readily available than yeah, the nutrition exactly. out of it, yeah, so it's broken down. Boost yeah, so, so the spring barley crops last year they got uh, liquid before before cultivation. So we now just go in with a disc uh, cultivator to, cu to cultivate the, the, the liquid in, and then we went with with the tram lines in between with a muck spreader to spread solids okay. last year. Um, this year. I'm not going to bother putting any uh, on solids on afterwards because we found that the, the crop was strong enough without it. So the, the challenge now is to develop AD that's simple and cheap enough to give a, a reasonable financial return using predominantly waste feedstock. An ideal system would produce all the farm's electricity and heating needs using the waste produced on the farm.